Hello VC, Tim here again. I know I said that I probably wouldn't be doing a video for a while because of my plans to be out of town while those plans have changed, so I thought, why not do a video? In honor of the 43rd birthday of the lead singer of Nonpoint, Elias Soriano, I thought I would do a little discussion about their discography. I happen to have all their discography on CD. So I thought I'd discuss them. And to me, Nonpoint is a very straightforward metal band. Um, I guess you can say there's touches of quote-unquote new metal in there. But they're one of my favorite bands. They're becoming one of my going up that ladder every day um and i met them at at the show i attended last january in illinois great bunch of guys um even got me a special place to watch the show you know and where i'd be out of the wildness of the crowd due to my visual impairment so, but without further any further ado, let's discuss their discography. First one, Nonpoint Statement. Their debut came out 1980, 1997. The standout track on this one for me is, and the probably the best known track on this one for me is a track called What a Day. Talks about somebody getting drunk, losing his keys at the party, and ends up hitchhiking and gets picked up by a wanted murderer. Interesting song. Second one, the first album of theirs I bought was Development. This is a concept album. It tells the story about the different phases of life people go through. And uh, the standout, two standout tracks on this one for me are Your Signs and the song My Own Sake. This is development from 1999. Next comes probably my favorite album of theirs, Recoil. The two standout tracks for me on this one is they do a good cover of... Um, the Phil Collins slash Genesis song in the air tonight and their their original song past it all are my two favorites on this one next is an album called to the pain well-known song on this one is called bullet with the name and the is the last song of the set when I saw them and apparently it's the last song on most of their sets so it's a rather um, popular song among their fan base next is Vengeance and I think this is the last album they did with their original lineup. I know sometime in this time period they went through a significant lineup change. The only two original members left at this time are the singer Elias Soriano, whose birthday it is today, and the drummer Rob Rivera. But I like the um, opening track on here, Wake Up World, and there's another good song on here called Hands Off. Next is Miracle. This album is standout track to me on this album is a song called Front Lines, which is a salute to the troops. They also have a cover of Five Minutes Alone, and the name of the original artist is escaping me right now. If anybody wants to comment below, let me know. But this thing is probably one of the most pain-in-the-butt CDs to open. You have to go through all of this 
to get to the CD and then closing it up again is a big pain, but still a good album nonetheless. Then they come up with a self-titled one, Nonpoint. My two favorite tracks on here are The Way I See Things and Another Mistake. This, song, this album talks more about relationships between people. Uh, a lot of the other albums have like streetwise lyrics, but this one talks more about relationships between people. Next is The Return, a very solid album. My two favorite tracks on here are Pins and Needles, which I st still like to hear live in Breaking Skin, the first two tracks on this album. I think anybody who just getting into Nonpoint, this might be a good album to start with. Next week, come to their latest one, The Poison Red. By far, to me, the most interest, the best track on here is the opening track. Um, Generation Idiot talks about how society has become somewhat dumbed down with technology and all of that. And this, ironically enough, is a deluxe Best Buy edition, considering Best Buy has phased out CDs, and this can Contains two bonus tracks, Walk on Water and All or Nothing Again. Walk on Water is, two, is the best of the two bonus tracks. So if, you, so if you are a fan of straightforward metal with streetwise lyrics, I recommend Nonpoint highly. They put on a fantastic show live and as one of the shirts i have claimed they're 